Hey everybody, Florida Fisherman here. And what's on the menu is melting a little bit of aluminum using a fire extinguisher, a shop vac, and some nasty black motor oil. So stick around. Hey everyone, Florida Fisherman here, and welcome to another episode of Making Something from Nothing. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to revisit the waste oil burner. A few of you guys have checked out my other video when I had first built it, and now I'm set up a little bit better. We're going to see if we can have some better results. Now, there was some questions about whether or not the way it's set up with the smaller pipes and uh, the way my oil feed was, could I really melt a bunch of aluminum? You know, some thicker stuff. So, that's what today's experiment is about. So, what we've got over here on top of these bricks is some miscellaneous aluminum chunks over here, a couple of heat sinks from uh, computers, a couple of sprues from some sand casting I did, some aluminum chunks from some other melts, top to a fire extinguisher which is aluminum, and the real test is going to be some solid aluminum. Now this is a real thick piece and if that's not good enough we've got some about three quarter pound ingots. So we're going to see how it goes. Well, let's see. I've got my gravity feed platform with the tank all strapped in. It can't go nowhere. Got my hose all pieced together. welded on an adapter onto my pipe to keep the hose away from the heat. Fixing a dryer out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of this aluminum and charge this crucible. Fill it up with some thick stuff, some thin stuff. That's what we've got right there to start with. What I'm going to do is get this thing fired up and up to temperature and then I'm going to throw the crucible underneath the exhaust. So let's get her fired up. All right, well, she's lit. Going to give uh, time for the bits of wood and sticks and stuff uh, that I stuffed down in there a chance to catch. And I'll start adding some oil. Well, I've started the oil flow. I don't know if you guys can see it, but she's starting to come down.
first time using this new setup, so we're going to see how it goes. And the oil is starting to make its way around. Making quick work of that damn aluminum. It has no problem melting aluminum, but it's kind of what I was afraid of, is the force of the air blows the molten aluminum right out of the uh, crucible. So I'm going to rethink how one of these fire extinguisher burners needs to meet the aluminum, because this obviously is not going to work. Not for my purposes, anyway. You just want to melt some aluminum, sure. See if it'll melt aluminum from five or six inches away without a crucible. I've got it running, so it may as well muck around a little bit.
thing's pretty violent. Looks like our aluminum is starting to melt. And no crucible, no insulation. Let's see if this stuff will melt. I'm going to move you guys because it's melting, but just not where I want it. It's a viable system, I just have to figure out how to adapt it, and I've got some ideas in mind. Uh, so much for our uh, three-quarter pound ingot. Well, I'm going to go ahead and shut off the oil. We've used uh, about three-quarters of a gallon of uh, used motor oil. Well, that was fun. Well, apparently you can melt aluminum without a crucible. Thick stuff, too. Well, it definitely melts aluminum. So I went ahead and tapped out the uh, crucible. And that's what we got here. That didn't fully melt, but... It was on its way to. Decided to pour a little bit early. It was putting too much carbon in there. Not to mention blowing aluminum all over the place. Got one nice clean ingot though. So I'll have to figure out exactly how to melt aluminum cleanly so this way I'm not putting a bunch of carbon into it okay well I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video 
I learned a little bit. If you can learn something every day, you're doing good. So from sunny Florida, Florida fishermen out.